Well, there are obviously a lot of different approaches to the gun control debate, but no matter where you stand, no one wants to see another tragedy like we've seen recently. So one Colorado company is trying to tackle gun safety with innovation. Biofire in Broomfield is building its own brand of smart gun from the ground up, both mechanically and technologically. It's a handgun with a fingerprint sensor on the grip. You might be able to see it, and it is designed to only unlock for the owner and then lock instantaneously when they put it down. I had a chance to talk to founder Kai Klepfer about the challenges of marrying the safety software with the mechanical components of a gun. We really heard, I think, very clearly from our customers that reliability is the, the number one key concern, right? Uh, if a smart gun is pretty straightforward, you know, it's a gun that only works for the owner, but it actually needs to make sure that that product is going to seamlessly unlock every single time that the owner needs it to, and at the same time is always going to be locked when their kids find it, for example. Now, he does not pretend to think that a smart gun will solve all of our gun problems, but he does hope it's a piece of the puzzle. Kai went to Fairview High School in Boulder. He remembers vividly the impact of the Aurora Theater shooting. It has motivated him to consult with law enforcement and everyday gun owners to find a solution to cut down on senseless deaths. At the end of the day, I think we as Americans need to be doing everything that we can to really uh, chip away, you know, like start to tackle every single different piece of what I view as a pretty complicated challenge around, around gun deaths in America. And so really BioFire, I think, addresses one portion of that, right? Our goal is to, you know, help prevent uh, accidents, suicides, and, and those do make up like over two thirds of all gun deaths, but obviously there's lots of other causes as well. The BioFire smart gun is not on the market yet. They're still going through testing, but you can see the latest at BioFire.io.